what's up? Welcome to Straight Up, coming to you live from the Bossier Parish Community College campus. I'm your host, Calvin Hamilton. Today's show is about age, and is it just a number? I right, have our four panelists here going to give us our, their issues about age. We have starting with Finch. Finch, give us your name and what you're studying. Oh, man, what up, man? I'm Finch, and that's all you need to know about me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you studying here at Dipsy? Yeah, you don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, Victoria? <laughs> I'm Victoria, and I'm studying broadcasting. What's up? I'm Devin, and I'm studying media broadcasting as well. And I'm Shelby, and I'm also in media broadcasting. All right, guys, nice to have you guys. This is how the show goes. We will answer questions from our Twitter and Facebook page on today's subject. Our panelists have three minutes to answer the questions, and then after that, another question will be asked and so forth. It's only one rule to the show is that all your answers have to be straight up. All right, guys, you understand the questions? All right. Yeah. Are the rules actually? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Our first question comes to Jacqueline. Jacqueline, what's your question? Hi, I'm Jacqueline Wilhite. And how young is too young when you can start dating? Jack. All right, guys. Fitch, how do you feel about that? How young is too young to start dating? How young is too young to start dating? Right. By the way, you're looking great today. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel, and my opinion might change in this argument, but I think maybe 16-year-old. That's what I'm thinking, That's too, too young? That's, no. That, I think that's when you should start. That's or when that's you when should you start. start at too 16. young is anything below that. So you waited till 16 to have your first girlfriend. You're not really, like, you're not really having a boyfriend or a girlfriend when you're not driving around anyway. But they're still going to date and call each other boyfriend and girlfriend. I agree with you, though, because, okay, listen, I'm... I had, I had like girlfriends in elementary and middle school, but when you like, after high school, you would be like, those don't count. Yeah, those don't yeah. count. Like everybody yeah. would say that doesn't count. And they count. don't, and, what, and they don't. And someone under the age of 16 meet with a boyfriend? Or girlfriend? But are you gonna tell them, um, you cannot call that person your boyfriend? I'm 25 or years old I'm and I don't need a girlfriend right now. Are you now. just gonna just to be honest. not <laughs> right? let them go out on dates on their own? Like I said, if you can't drive yourself around, then you shouldn't then go out on a date. You shouldn't go but out. But think on about it, it's also a city bus, also. I used to catch a city bus all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you make you a can good consider point. that an option. <laughs> right, but. Hey, girl, I'm going to come pick you up on the bus. <laughs> so <laughs> we wait at the bus hey, stop. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing wrong with the bus. <laughs> you know, nothing wrong with the bus. Get our, yeah, each other some ICs and then <laughs> some hot dogs. <laughs> That's going to be super neat. <laughs> at the age of 16, but I mean. But does it but does it count at 16? Would y'all say it counts? It does all? count at 16. I think it I think counts it starts when you're counting. in high school. It I starts think counting when you're in high school. I agree. Yeah, because like as you do, like you look back on relationships, you've like I've changed since then. And when I look back at that one person, what in the world was I? Thinking? But I was 14 when I was a freshman, and I had a boyfriend. Right, right. I understand. So and what all did you do with your boyfriend? I went to his house. Well, that, that's a little personal. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're not gonna go that far into it, though. Was he uh, we went out on dates. Take you, or were y'all both 14? No, he was older. Okay, he so was, he could drive. How much older was he? He was only a year older, but we all had older friends, so oh, okay. we just went out with our older friends and okay. they drove us around. So it was like a group date. Not all Every, the time. Not all the time. Yeah, not all the time, but sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. If I had a daughter, she wouldn't be dating until she was like 22. Ooh, well, a, I wow. doubt that really happened. Well, the yeah. thing is, is I'd feed her Snicker, Snickers bars and I'd make sure she didn't obey so nobody <laughs> wanted to touch her. Nobody's touching my baby. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Please don't do that, that to your disgusting. real daughter whenever you have one. Ain't Papa nobody touching preach. my baby. That's what you say. Papa don't preach. She don't want to be like you and huh? Snickers and not taking baths. I take baths. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once every month. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into our next question. <laughs> question number two. Josh Farnell, if we're able to fight for our country at 18, why can't we drink at 18? Josh's question was, if we can't, we can fight for our country at 18, how come we can't drink at 18? Probably because you'll act like a crazy hooligan. <laughs> I, I, I kind know. of agree. I mean, you're, I do, think you're I, doing it anyway, so why is it a big deal? Like, honestly. I personally think there should be like an IQ and maturity test for you to do certain things right. <laughs> instead of an age limit. The way I see it is, that, like I said, just like if you're doing it anyways, why it's such a big deal? I mean, if you get caught, then you get caught. I mean, like I feel like serving your country is more of a bigger deal than wanting to have a few beers. I mean, not yeah. even get drunk, just having a few beers. But I feel like serving your country is more important. What is it, Fent? OK, you volunteer. <laughs> you volunteer to go into the Army. You volunteer to go into, or whatever armed service you're going into. That's, that's, the, that's the deal. Like, you, you're when you're 21, you're volunteering. That's you're it. not volunteering yeah. to go drink. 
Right. You know what I mean? Right. It, it's your choice to go and fight at 18. Yeah. Right. So you're saying, oh, because my country makes me fight. No, you volunteer to go fight. You get paid right. to go fight. You know what I mean? I'm a bartender. I can tell you the difference between an 18 and a 21-year-old in maturity level. Big difference. Big, huge difference. I remember when I was 18, and I remember when I was 21, and there was a difference there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the thing is, is I'll still pay a lot of money to go out and drink and stuff like that, but I still make sure I get my bills paid before I do that. Yeah. An 18-year-old will run and gun and drink, and, uh, that, you know, there was a time where there were 18-year-olds drinking, and the drinking and driving death rate was a lot higher than what it is now. Mm -hmm. All right. So oh, I, I right. think there's just a huge maturity gap. Yeah. And, it's, and you think, and what, yeah, four years what doesn't make saying. that much of a difference? It, it does. does. Because it does. now you're coming out of high school and the real world is hitting you. You have three years to get used to the real world and how things work before you start drinking, which is something, let me tell you, can really impair your senses. Okay, yeah. and how do you deal with these teens? Say, okay, I'm 18, I've been in the Army, but I'm so mature. I'm 18, but I'm more mature than other 18-year-olds. How do you deal with those students, or people, actually, who are 18 to say, I'm mature? How do you deal with that? Like, in defense of that subject about Like, they're drinking. trying to get a drink. Right. They're 18, but they say that they're mature. Right. Well, if they're mature enough, they would know, at 18 years old, that there are laws, and I have to obey them, right. and they have to obey them. Yeah. So if they're mature enough, they wouldn't put up the fight anyways. I agree. All, All right. right. Well, that's great. So touch the subject, guys. Our next question comes from Tony. Tony asks, Tony Johnson, how old is too old before you get your license taken away? I guess Tony's referencing about elderly people. I'm pretty sure we all have road raids. So how old is too old to, have, to be driving on the road? I, I feel, don't think... Oh, I, don't, I feel oh. like age, like, age doesn't matter, but I do think that eventually they should pass a law that once you reach a certain age, you have to retake your driver's test. Because some old people, when you're older, your hearing is worse, your vision is worse. So you're going to drive slower because you don't know what you're doing. You're just sitting here driving in this car, looking around and well, all that stuff like that. I mean, As long as they're capable and they can still drive, yeah, that's then that's fine. But I'm pretty sure somebody who can't hardly walk down the stairs is not going to go get in their car and try to drive to <laughs> Texarkana. Well, you, you, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. I've seen some... 94-year-olds driving, too. I think so it I mean, depends. But there are some 94-year-olds that are really good perfectly shape healthy. and marathon, so they can be able to drive. Exactly. I don't think it should be an age limit. Right. right. It just depends on I would say age doesn't apply to that well, question. Yeah. 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 yeah, same here. I remember when I was 15 years old, it was a Saturday <laughs> morning, I was watching SpongeBob SquarePants, and I hear this large, large boom. And I'm like, what happened? So I run outside, and I look out, and I see that this elderly woman hit a telephone pole and knocked it over. And she got out the car acting like nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> now, she shouldn't have been driving. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it might not be an age thing. Maybe you're right. But, you know, <laughs> but it's could it like, be a, could it be a sex thing? Sad, I mean, huh? who drives worse? Women, women or men? drive women. worse. Oh, what? Not women. always. You all drive worse. All you always drive 90 miles per hour. I've ridden with her. When it takes seven. You have not. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> women drive a lot worse. Like, guys, they'll, like, especially when, like, one thing I learned in driving is do not drive when you're mad or stressed. Women, whatever. When a girl is mad and they're driving, <laughs> oh, you get out the way. You won't I get will out agree with that. Get out the way. Get out of the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah, I will say, don't, don't, uh, don't. But y'all drive crazy at any time. It's just our emotions. Y'all are just crazy drivers. Men I'm sorry, just ladies. like I'm sorry, ladies, Girls like bobbing and weaving. Y'all drive kind of crazy. Come on. Only now. when we're upset. But you guys uh, drive. Uh, oh, 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 only when we're upset. upset. <laughs> <laughs> when somebody gave me a bad news texting, <laughs> I'm going to speed like a race horse. No, okay, but you guys do it just for fun. Like, hey, you want to come? Down yeah, oh, yeah, let me really white smoke we my tires real fast. Let me drag, get donuts. drag race donuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you got my attention on donuts. <laughs> my big question, though, is why was that guy wearing a bow tie and on a pot? I agree. Wait, what? That he was video. sitting on like a plant pot. Oh, oh the guy that was the question. Tony, you mean Tony? Yeah, Tony in the question definitely had a bow tie. Question. I don't know. Tony likes to wear bow ties. I like bow ties. Bow, bow ties are legit fashion forward. Like, if you wear a bow tie, I, I instantly think you're a cool person, just saying. Uh, no. You cannot <laughs> judge a person's coolness on a bow tie. Hey, yeah. James Bond wears bow ties. 
and you see him. He's <laughs> way cooler. Do you than see me. how many girls are throwing themselves at him? Exactly. I don't. Know. Not because of the bow tie. So, but back to the question at hand. I'm thinking I'm with Devin about. I think every maybe 10 years you have to read just make sure that you're qualified to take a driving test because, like I said, I'm not taking I get road rage sometimes. Yeah, okay. That's enough. That. Yes. Just don't want people hitting telephone poles, bro. Right? <laughs> or other people. Saturday morning could have been a kid on a bike. All right. All right, round robin, okay? Qu answer this age question, okay? Shelby, what age do you think? What For age the driving? Think? Yeah. Just cut it off completely. What age? A hundred. <laughs> Devin? <laughs> Sixty. Sixty? Sixty. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, 65. No! Oh, you gotta be ripping. Yeah, yes. really. My father is like 65, 75. and you can you whoop your butt. Uh, My she grandfather drove, was I they should be able to do good. with driving is one of them. All right, Victoria, what's your number? I don't have a number because <laughs> they don't have to. I don't have a number. <laughs> I don't have a number. <laughs> I just got this bad news text thing. I'm going right, to drag it. Give me a number. Shelby said 100. What's your but number? I don't think there's an age restriction. That's why I said 100. So you can be 100 years old and still They probably don't want to drive no more. I think if they're just capable. I think uh, when you reach 50, you can drive this, the, your, the speed limit is your age. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're 80, you okay. can go 80. <laughs> <laughs> but the cutoff is 90, and then your license is taken away. So basically, you're speeding up life. Because <laughs> if you're you 80 going life. 80 miles per hour, you're about go to go. Speed of life. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to come back with more of your questions and more straight up answers right after this. <laughs> Nice. The fastest growing community <laughs> college in the nation. Wonder why? We at the Bossier Chamber of Commerce value our partnership with Bossier Parish Community College as an educator and a trainer for the local business industry. Together, we will help Northwest Louisiana grow. And Bipsy's nursing program educates students for the workforce. Our state-of-the-art lab has allowed us to get hands-on experience with real-life case studies. As a graduate, I was able to find a job right after graduation. Check us out. You'll understand why. Look, it is not as easy as you think being hot, young, and still single. Add that you have this annoying accent, and finding me Sarai can be really tough. We decided to pass a link around Facebook, trying to meet people in our area. Well, they just assumed that we were virus or spam. No one wanted to click it. Welcome back to Straight Up here on the Bossier Parish Community College. I'm once again, I'm Calvin Hamilton. And today's show is all about age and is it just a number? If you missed it already, we have some interesting questions and answers. We also have our student panelists, Summer Shelby, Devin, Victoria, and Finn. All right, guys, you want some more questions? All yeah. right. Bring them on. But by the way, are you going to be the star of Roadhouse 3 when it comes <laughs> out? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right, our next question comes to Ardiza. Ardiza, what's your question? enough to live on your own. How old do you have to be to live on your own, basically? How, how old is too young, basically, to live on your own? I think 18, you know, that's that's when, that's a good number. Oh, yeah, 18 same. 18 is good because normally that's when you're off to college, when you're off away at college to live on your own anyways. And I think at 16, if you want to go out and live with your boyfriend, you're a little too young for that. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> 
like then then just you start getting all this false hope. Oh, we're getting married soon. And, and then he leaves you. Yeah. yeah, it happens. But could you have your own house at 18? I mean, your own house, your own no house. roommates at 18. I had yeah. a I had a tree house when I was 14. All right. <laughs> I don't think two I houses count. Yeah. I have one of those little, you know, playpen houses that you know you put together. You go in with the little playpen. You have the, some playmates. <laughs> no, but like, no. I mean, eighteen, like you better have a legit job with legit. Unless you're Justin Bieber, honestly. Yeah, really. You know, like, you're unless like, you're famous. Bang. Right. So you think eighteen is the perfect age to live on your own? Yeah. I mean, if you're mature enough. Right. Like, yeah. if you're not gonna blow your bill money on on booze, yeah. that's another yeah, maturity thing. Yeah, right there. All right. Hey, T, I mean, come on, who all shops? I mean, we all have to spend money all the time. Oh, but yeah. if you got, like, $2,000 coming in, like, every two weeks. I'm going shopping I if I got exactly. a $2,000 check oh, coming. Please. So what's your priority first, bills or going shopping? Think well, about bills it. first. Hey, T, no bills parents, first. nothing like that. Bills first. Take your money out for groceries, yeah. gas, all that good stuff. And then, because you work so hard, yeah. you got a big paycheck, go buy yourself a little nice something. All right, I'm going to jump back to a previous question. Finch said he always makes sure that the bills are paid before he goes out and, you know, has fun. I, I agree with that. Yeah. You know, just make sure everything is done because, like... But sometimes you blow it before you spend it on the bills. Mm -hmm. right. You're 18 years old. But you again, could, that depends on how mature you are. Yeah. yeah, you're 18 years old. I don't see an 18-year-old. Now, this is... It's a rarity. This is... It's a rarity. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. That You know, there are mature 18-year-olds that are like... I got this I got to pay off. I got this car note. Yeah. But how many of them are like, oh, my God, Assassin's Creed 3 is coming out. I got to get it. <laughs> and it's like, but you you only have, like, maybe $40 spending money because of all these bills you got to do. I don't care. I will make the light bill, bill wait or well, the electricity fine. bill wait. And then you wind up, you got Assassin's Creed, but you can't play it because you got no electricity. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. That's true, but it's not just That's for when you go back to mama's There's house. There's, like, 23, 24-year-old people that I know that don't have their bills their paid, but straight. they, yeah, yeah that's it's right. not just 18. You got some sugar daddies around 18, that's what it is. You got some sugar daddies at 18, I know. If you move out at 18, just at all costs, avoid moving in back with your parents, because. Just pay your bills first. <laughs> yes, pay your bills first, avoid moving back, because you know, you know, before you moved out, you know your parents, they still had that upper hand telling you to do this and that. All of a sudden, you're what, 19 now, moving, living back with your parents, they expect you to be home at this time. Where you at? They expect you to wash dishes, but you never at home and the stuff like that. So I mean, st stay clear of moving back in. With David, you. are you have some problems like, at home right now? First of all, no. My house is great. I'm living at home. I made the right choice of not moving out. Hey, this is so. straight up not Oprah, okay? I can't, I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I agree with you. Like you said, you're 18. Make sure you just avoid your parents' house. Yeah. Nobody wants to go back to mom and daddy's house. Trust <laughs> Sometimes I want to go home to mama so she can cook dinner. That's what I'm saying, my mom. Bill free until <laughs> I get out of school. Right. Hey, Mama, could you do my laundry? No, I have to do my own laundry. I know, I do my own laundry. <laughs> Folding clothes, maybe, but no. <laughs> All right, okay, guys, our next question comes from our Facebook page. It comes from Audrey. Audrey asks, what's the biggest age gap for dating? Does it make a difference? I think it depends on how old you are. Like, if you're... You're like 20 and you date a 25 year old, it's cool with me. But if you're 15 and you date a 20 year old, it's not cool. Well, that's that's illegal here in Louisiana. Yeah, but. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully, you know. People want to break the rules. I'm not oh, going to lie, man. I had a friend. And we don't advertise that here on Straight Up. <laughs> yeah. A 50 year old dating a 20 year old, that's why I would feed but my I've baby girl happen. Snickers and she wanted to shower. <laughs> Daddy, I, I don't want to take a shower. No, baby, gonna... finish off your case of Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> or you could just instill good morals in yeah, her, and she won't date a 50-year-old. Yeah. See, but that's the thing. You can, you can teach your child everything, but when they go out and learn, they're going to make the decision themselves. Anybody will get in their Real head. Talk. And then yeah. they have to learn from so it So at, the, at this point in time, you don't blame the parents for how the child grows up? Well, and, Mm, kind of, sort of, to an extent. Don't get me wrong, you better discipline your child. Yeah. They ain't gonna be running around like no <laughs> crazy kid, and yeah. you ain't gonna put them in the corner. I think or if something. you install good things in your kids, they're gonna make mistakes, but they're not gonna make the same huge mistakes that people that didn't get from their parents. The second like time I got bailed out of jail, <laughs> <laughs> my mother sat me down, looked me in the eye, and said, I'm so disappointed in you. Mm. And then she said that you and how you act 
or a direct representation of ha who I am and mm. how I raised you. Mm. And right now, you're misrepresenting me. How does, straight how, up. How, how, really? Your, your really. mama told okay. me How does it make up. you feel when your parents say, I'm disappointing you. Oh my gosh, that's it hurts worse than, than being mad. Like, yeah, that's it hurts. She said it hurts worse than getting the whooping. It does. I mean, like, <laughs> you you try like, okay, I'm I'm pretty sure everybody has an open mind. You really don't care about reaching people's expectations about you, and sometimes not even your parents. But when you don't make your parents proud, let alone happy, it hurts. It does. And it sticks. Even if you're totally rebellious growing up. Even if you're totally rebellious, yeah. I mean. You probably couldn't even know who your mom is or whatever. Then Unless like, they set low expectations. Yeah. Okay, I'm back with Finch's idea. Okay, I he could said I could tell her tell her like, hey, at least I ain't Des Bryant and I'm not beating you. What's up? Whoa. Whoa. Mm. I don't know about all that. He, <laughs> made, he <laughs> makes a good point though. Des Bryant beats his mom. mom That's all I'm saying. Well, then mama need to beat him I back know, or shoot him. That's what right. I'm okay, talking okay. about. Okay. Oh, no. Everybody remember the video on YouTube of on Dr. Phil. The woman, her, the mom, she's trying to talk to Roy, and he's like, shut up, slaps her in the face. Uh-uh, oh, we yeah. don't oh, yeah. 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 No, those kind My of things. My mom won't have it. I don't think I ever want to hear anybody say again, shut up and let me finish. I don't want to say talking to me crazy anyway. Because so. that sounds gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> back to the question. Back, back to the question at hand, like I said. What is the Back to the question at hand, like Finch said. About dating. Yeah, I mean, okay. Finch said that he wouldn't let his daughter date until, what, 22, you said? About 20, well, let's, 20, th let's talk about the age gap, because that's like, that's the, like the real thing. My, uh, I, I have a family member, because uh, I don't want to put my whole family on blast, but I have one family member that got married to somebody that was about 15 years older than her. I was going to say the same thing, so I do too. They were 20 years apart. And the Ooh. age gap is a huge deal there because he sees something that she's going through is not a big deal. Right. Because he's been there, done that. Okay. Where to her, it's a huge mountain to climb. Well, see, I don't know that they had those problems. I think they were pretty understanding of each other. But unfortunately, his life got cut short. But see, I agree with Finch, though, because, okay, like you said, 20 years apart, my best friend, her parents are 20 years apart. That's two totally different eras like you can yeah. be born in the 50s the 50s is the era of the baby boomers you can be born in the, the 20s the 20s yeah uh, well, no 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 that's the 50s my yeah, mom told me she boomers. was a baby boomer yeah. and um <laughs> and so like, that happened twice and if, you were born, <laughs> if you were born in the 70s that's the era of well i guess you can peace say and peace love. and love yeah. and stuff like that you will, you will see, you will not see eye to eye on certain situations because you but were born in this area. It wasn't even how your parents raised you. It's just the environment that you're but in. But that's any relationship. Yeah. You're going to see different in certain areas. Here's another problem that uh, my family member ran into. When she got married to this guy, she inherited a family. Woo! And her stepdaughter. Ain't that right. There we go. And her stepdaughter was nine years younger than her. <gasps> oh, my God. That would affect crazy. me. Crazy, yes. That Tell would affect me, me big time. Weird that is. That is hey, weird. It is pretty hey, weird. Mom. That's super weird. <laughs> well, I mm, same thing over here with my family members. She, his kids are grown with their own kids, and her daughter with him is a freshman in high school. Mm. When, and all right, she's guys, an let me aunt. stop you right there. Let's go into our next Facebook question <laughs> right now. Our next Facebook question comes from Courtney. Courtney, Courtney asked, awesome. asked me, "How old is it too old to pin money on your chest for your birthday?" What? How old is it to be too old to pin money on your chest for your birthday? Oh, it's never, never too old. Never. Hold on, you a yeah. Oh, what? no. 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 Oh, Listen, no. if you have a car. You got no class. If you have no. a car. You, you need dollar. gas, you, you better put that dollar on your chest. You better put that dollar on your chest. What's your birthday? Let me yeah. give you a dollar. Somebody has gotten me like that. It was not their birthday, but I gave them a dollar. Okay, do y'all still put money on y'all's chest right now on your birthday? I mean, I didn't, but if somebody gave me a dollar, I'm like. That's all I'm saying, bro. Like. That's no. low class. No, it's not. You think it's low not. class? Put money low on your class. Okay, in That's California, listen, class. in California, when you're married, they pin money on your dress. Like that so California, That's the money dance. That's that's a. That's wedding tradition. Well, I guess on my birthday, I'm getting married because I'm doing the money that. dance because it gives me some money. <laughs> I know I got money on my wedding day. I thought that was just the birthday. Me too. I mean, well, it's it's different in different areas, but here, I mean, I'm putting a dollar on my chest on my birthday. I'm just, I'm I just don't think there's man. anything wrong with Me it. Either. Some people just do it for that recognition, like, hey, you know what? It's my birthday. Yeah. I just want somebody to tell me happy birthday. I don't what? care that it's your birthday. On my people birthday, I, I wore it to y'all. Somebody has a birthday every day. Multiple people have the same birthday. Well, then Is they should all be getting money. I know, right? <laughs> 
after you're like 12 years old, okay, you're growing up now. Everybody has a birthday. Get over it. <laughs> Everybody's birthday is special. Probably Nobody's birthday, birthday is special. Uh -oh. Mine is. <laughs> no, no, I will admit this. I will admit this. My mom just recently had a birthday. Mom, how's it going? It's just another day, sweetheart. I mean, it's oh, you the older 52? you get. Ha <laughs> happy birthday. How does it feel getting older? <laughs> If you make it special, you can embrace getting older. I know. I want to get older. Oh. I want to be like 105. Lady. And I still want to have money. Girls. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to have what? money when I'm 105. I want a birthday more than I want money. I'm already going to be collecting <laughs> retirement. I just want more money. Like, literally. It's not the money, but I would love to be super Let's draw the line. Older. 90, when you get your license taken away. <laughs> <laughs> that it's the last day you get to pin money to your bag. <laughs> Right. All right. <laughs> Our next question comes from Lee at Leah Tar from Twitter. T Lee asks, how old is it to be too old to watch cartoons? Never. I, I don't think there is an age limit for cartoons. Heck no. I still watch cartoons. I still watch I mean, I don't stuff. necessarily yeah, watch cartoons, do, 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 do. but mean. I'm not hating on anybody who does. I think that's fine. I mean, my dad is 55 Just don't years act like you live cartoons. in a cartoon. <laughs> yeah. You watch uh -huh. them, but leave it at the TV. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. I guess you can say there's a time and place for that as well, though, but we'll, that's a whole other story. Okay. All right, guys, that's all the time we have here today on Straight Up. Make sure you join us next time. We're talking about everything Christmas. You have a question to ask our panelists? Bench, where can they find you on Twitter? At Straight Up Bench. Victoria? At Straight Up Victoria. And straight up Shelby. And you can find us here on Straight Up at Straight Up, at straight up Show on Twitter also. All right, guys, my name is Calvin Hamilton. Join us next time on Straight Up. Until then, make sure you always stay straight, straight up. up. All right, have a great day.